just it, it, it makes you sit back and, and think about things that could happen in court. A Nevada judge attacked in court this week after refusing the man's request for probation. And that attack was the talk of the Lubbock County Courthouse this afternoon. I'll bet it had a lot of judges here and everywhere rethinking their safety plans. KMAX Cameron Mendoza talked to one of Lubbock's judges about security here. Brian and Lauren, Judge William Eichmann II says attacks like this can happen to anyone in a courtroom, but the difference is the security being in place ready for whenever it could happen. I couldn't believe that that really happened. Hey, whoa, 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 hey. Just it, it, it makes you sit back and, and think about things that could happen in court. Judge William Eichmann II says he has seen his fair share of outbursts in the courtroom, but nothing to this degree. To a lesser extent, I've seen something like that. I did have a, a person at one time come at my bench, but my uh, court security guy uh, stopped him uh, and prevented him from actually getting to where he could make contact with me. Judge Eichmann says, although he has never felt unsafe in his own courtroom. Well, I have a very good court security uh, person, and that's James Wisniewski. Uh, he does a fine job here. I will tell you this, that the sheriff's office does a very good job in providing security for the court. That's attributed to heightened security, not only in the courtroom, but at the courthouse. We do have uh, security here at the courthouse. You're not allowed to bring in firearms or uh, weapons of any type. And that's a, this is a reason why. You never know, and especially when emotions are high. And so in places like this, the only people that should be having and carrying weapons are our security folks to keep everybody safe. Judge Eichmann says no matter the case, reactions are to be expected. Uh, the courthouse, and especially each courtroom, can be very emotional because you have people that may be losing their freedom, as in this case. I, I, should be a shot. I appreciate that, but I think it's time that he gets a taste of something else because I just can't with that history. But should you ever find yourself in a courtroom, the consequences would only get worse if you pull something like this. My advice would be we understand it's very emotional. We understand that this isn't where you want to be in the courtroom um, when decisions can be made about your life or li lives of your loved ones. We understand you can be upset. Stop. Please, Don't do this. Please, please. However, uh, I am quite certain that the man who attacked the judge in Las Vegas is going to have additional criminal charges and will be looking at a lot more time in prison than he otherwise would have. And LCSO's court division is staffed with 18 sworn deputies and four civilian employees. All courthouse deputies receive tactical courthouse operations training. This training gives them the ability to serve on the tactical operations unit, hostage negotiator unit, and the honor guard.